Hey, this is Alava and welcome to a new quick tutorial. First, I want to show you what we will create today. We will do some very cool dissolve effect. As you see, we will dissolve this bird. We will beam it or blow it away in pieces. And how to do so? Uh, we did one tutorial in uh, 2016, which is this one, where we used the uh, Trapcord's uh, form to achieve this effect. Um, quite handy if you have Trapcord form, check this out. If not, stay here with me and uh, we will see what uh, the new plugin, Platoon, can do with this bird. Okay, so let's jump in first make a new composition make it comp size uh, 20 and uh, HD make it comp size make your comp HD um, we have uh, five seconds and uh, do what background you ever like uh, first of all let me show you the footage this is our footage and uh, here we have some starting point then the bird comes and then we will push the bird away okay so this is the wrong footage, of course. This is the right footage. So here the bird comes and then it's not blown away, but we will do so within a few minutes, okay? Um, this tutorial took the 22 minutes, I think, something around that. Yeah, 26 minutes. And let's see how fast we can do this here. So first of all, uh, I will do a little cheat on that because uh, I took the start frame which is this blank thing here um, and simply cut that clip into pieces and uh, use this as a clean plate for my bird okay so uh, this is a little cheat but it will work fine for this now so first of all we have to um, to separate this bird from the background and to do so I simply duplicate the layer string D on a keyboard I will extend that until the end and go over to here so this is the part where the dissolve effect will happen and now I solo that layer and I simply want to key that so that we have our bird and this thing here and a separate background okay um, you can do so uh, type in key and this depends hardly on your footage uh, maybe you want to use the key light in this case uh, if you click somewhere uh, you will see the result is uh, yeah I think you can tweak this to infinity and we'll never get a clean alpha channel. Uh, in this case, uh, what works good is the uh, color key and simply grab me, grab one uh, this piece of thing here and play with the uh, tolerance and you see it starts cutting this thing off. And let's see, now we are starting losing information here, so we leave it as it is. String the inner keyboard, another color key, we grab this texture here and now we are, I think, pretty much good for this tutorial. So, I mean, this is okay. We have some little flickering here, but let's make a garbage mask. So I put a mask around here, around this bird, to clean things up. And let me go here to this, so that we get rid of these things here. So now we have a bird. It's not perfect. We have if I go to our transparent, we see we have losing our background here. But if you if you do this and you see uh, you unhide the clean plate, you will see. I mean, this is yeah. If you know is if you know that you will see that. But for this one, it's okay. So let's start with the fun part. Let's start with the dissolve thing. So first of all. I go to my effects and presets and I type in Platoon and here are a bunch of presets. If you don't have Platoon right now, uh, you can download the trial version on aescripts.com. The, 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 the link is in the description below. Um, be careful if you watch this tutorial in April 22. Um, please, uh, you have to uh, register for beta testing to get the uh, latest version of Platoon. Uh, if you watch this later on May 22, you can simply download the trial version on aascripts.com. That comes with a bunch of presets and we use this di dissolve V effect, so this one, and we drag that onto our footage. We hit U on the keyboard to see the keyframes. So here are the keyframes. And we scrub through and you will see, hey, 
it's uh, almost done. I mean, this is uh, amazing. It's fast, right? Okay, so let's tweak this and go into Platoon um, with a few steps. We have two Platoon instances. One is the Fade, one is the FFX. And first of all, I like to go to the Fade thing. Uh, so everything which is um, dissolved or displaced in this case is driven by a black and white image. So that means if you change the texture here or import your own footage texture, it will change the um, the look and feel of the uh, dissolve effect. So simply can choose whatever you like and uh, tweak this uh, with uh, this uh, image. You can of course go into the image settings in the transform section and scale that up and it will immediately get you another result, a different result of this uh, effect, okay? I leave the settings as they are and let's go to the Displace engine, which is a huge thing. So here you have the option to control the transform of your um, of your uh, pixels here and you have uh, for example a pixel spread so you can spread those pixels in X or in Y depends on your footage of course what you like you can rotate this um, and then you lose the bird so we undo that but you can rotate uh, really and you have uh, the pixel size and uh, start size and end size that means the starting pixels is one pixel and the size is one and the far the pixels will push away, the bigger the size will be. So that means if you give you here a bigger size, you will see the pixels start getting bigger, okay? In our case, we leave this on, oh, let's try six. I think that fits better. So this is uh, what you do. You can, uh, of course, uh, influence this style by different uh, parameters. For example, you have the a turbulence influence thing and here if you play with the rotation you will see you can rotate those particles in place so I think that looks cool and we'll leave it here so and uh, to finish this up uh, I simply put on top of all of these a CC force motion blur so here we go CC force motion blur I drag that onto my footage and you will see it takes some render time but it's worth it i mean you got this very cool motion blur here and uh, now let's uh, finish this up and give him some little glowish lines so that it looks like it get ah one thing one thing one thing one thing we have to keep in mind is you see this is where the defect starts and now here it starts to dissolve this thing and this is quite late I mean we're losing half a second and to fix that in the fade option we have a um, overlay thing here and this is a driven this drives the animation so the overlay comes if you click on this here, here will the animation start and here's the end so if you bring this over to let's say here you will see now you have a much earlier starting point of the dissolve. So the overlay starts the dissolve effect or general in general the displace effect and you can play with the overlay center which is the starting point because the overlay mode is from left to right. You can choose also from uh, I don't know up down, down up, up down, square diamond, axis left right. So there are a lot of things to play with but in our case left right is fine and uh, now we have fixed that and let's talk about this glow here okay so for achieving that I duplicate the layer string D on a keyboard and the first thing I want to get rid of is the uh, motion blur because this causes render time and let me go to our first layer and also unhide the motion blur just for render time okay so um, now if we solo that layer you will see this is our thing and if I like to put any effect like glow on on top of that let's do so you will see what happened so I mean the bird <laughs> the birds gonna burn away and that's not exactly what we'd like to have so to fix that in the uh, fade 
options of Platoon in the Displace engine, there is a thing called Output. And in this Output section, there is a very small option, but it's very powerful. It say, says Show only displaced pixels. And if you check that, you will see you only see the displaced pixels. And now you can play with the glow effect on top of that uh, according to your pixels and uh, have this, uh, let me undo, unsolo that, now you have this glow effect here. And if you put that to transfer mode add, you get rid of those black pixels. So everything looks like it should be. So now we can play with the issue of these particles here. They are double. So I solo that layer and we go into the, let me let me showcase you that so that you can follow if you like to. So this is the glow and this is the FFX fade and this is the uh, FF uh, this is only the fade. So we go to the fade thing, go to this place and we go to our transform settings and let's bring the end size of our pixels um, down to zero and that cleans a lot of pixels up. Okay, so let's undo this. And you see that's quite amazing. These are the pixels from uh, from the background. They should be here. This is from here. So if I so let you see these are the pixels here. And of course we give to both one a motion blur, but um, let's go and fix our glow. I go to our glow settings and uh, let's see what the threshold can do for us. That looks quite amazing and I will do another copy string on a keyboard and bring the radius up a lot so that we have some glows around here so that's maybe a bit up too so that's fine let's finish this up with two times motion blur so motion blur on on the glow thing and you see the pixels are fine and on the main comp and here ready to go and let's preview this so here we go in the half of the time nice very very nice look look at this i mean this is in general you do this in 3d with the particles and if you have a 3d object look at this very cool dissolved thing so Make sure to check out Platoon if you like and uh, yeah, hope we see us in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.